So when I was writing a book called Angrynomics with a political economist called Mark Blythe in the United States, we followed up on this theme of anger. We wanted to try and understand why there is anger in our politics. And we started by doing a data search. And we got IBM has this system called Watson Analytics, and you can scan hundreds of thousands of stories, news stories. And we sorted all of the stories by the theme of anger. And there were two really, really interesting results which relate to these two stories. The first most frequent citation of anger in news stories relates to something that's best described as moral outrage. It's our sense of an injustice occurring. The second most frequent type of news story about anger was angry sports fans. Now, immediately you think, if you go to sporting events, you're probably thinking, I mean, particularly if you go to really intense sporting events. You know, I like to go to football games in North London where there is intense rivalry and there's an amazing atmosphere. Now, if you go to sporting events like that, you would say you didn't need to do a big data search, okay? I, I could have told you that there are angry fans. And they're a particular type. They're usually a minority. And I think I've never seen an angry fan that wasn't a man, right? So, so men pay money to go to sporting events to get really angry. Right? And, and you can even see the same guy every week getting angry. Now, that's a really interesting phenomenon. <laughs> so I got thinking to myself, why? Who won?